All right, so the second talk will be about faster algorithms for LPN, and Bin is going to give the talk. Yeah, thanks for the introduction. Yeah, the title is uh, Fast Algorithm for Solving LPN. This is a joint work with uh, Li Jiao and uh, Ming Xing Wang. We all come from Chinese Academy of Sciences. Uh, our talk consists of the following parts. First, uh, we give some introduction on the background, then we present uh, preliminaries on the LPN problem. Uh, and after that, we give the short review of the previous algorithm using current codes at Asia Crypt 2014. And uh, after that, we present our improvements and uh, give the theoretical analysis. And uh, we also introduce the variance of the different kinds of BKW algorithm reduction steps used in our, in our solving algorithm. And uh, after all these two steps, we give a, a complete description of our algorithm with the embedding perfect codes and finally, we give some concurrence. Uh, we first look at the RPM problem. Yeah, um, it's a learning parity with noise RPM problem less at the core of many cryptographic constructions for lightweight and post-quantum cryptography. In the RPM problem, there is a secret X of a uh, k-bit length, and the adversary is asked to find X given many noise in the products. Given as this, this is the uh, production between X and G, where G is a random vector of the same length, and the noise is one with some probability eta deviating from one half. And uh, the cryptography schemes based on RP are ap uh, appealing both for theoretical and the practical reason. The earliest uh, proposal dates back to uh, HB, HB plus, HB heaven, and all authentication protocols. There is also a message encryption scheme based on RPN, that is RPNC scheme and some message authentication codes max using SMPN. Another notable scheme, LAPIN, is based on RPN variant called the RIN RPN. Also, there is a recently proposal called Helen with uh, concrete parameters for different security levels. Uh, it's very important to study the best possible algorithms that can efficiently solve the RPN problem. Um, here we give a short uh, review of the history on the RPN solving problems. Mm, the, the first one is the seminal work of uh, Bloom, Kala, and uh, was a man called, known as the BKW algorithm. It is uh, proposed uh, in Journal of ACM in 2003, and uh, at ASEAN in 2006, um, uh, Levy and uh, Pierre Alain Falk. They suggest to exploit the fast wish hardware transform to fast uh, speed up the recovering uh, spaces. And uh, on to, uh, in 2011, on imprint, uh, Paul Kitchener suggests to transform the problem into a systematic form. And then and Daniel Bernstein and uh, Tai Alam uh, suggest to utilize uh, the ring structure of the ring RPM at uh, RFID security 2030. Uh, we know that none of these algorithms managed to break the 18-bit security of LAPIN, nor the parameters suggest for the 18-bit security of RPNC. Uh, at Asia Crypt 2040, a new algorithm for solving RPN was presented. Uh, it was claimed that uh, the 18-bit security of the common two, uh, 512 and 18 RPN instance can be broken with a complexity of uh, 2279.7 and so do the um, previous unbroken parameters of HB variants, LAPIN, and the uh, RPNC. Um, recently, there is also a paper by Dr. Bugus and the pro uh, Professor Vandani uh, on ePrint uh, proposed another algorithm for solving RPNs. Uh, here, uh, we just uh, make our contribution for this problem. We first uh, analogize the problem with uh, correlation attacks on stream ciphers. That is, we regard the BKW reduction as the pre-computation of parity checks, and uh, we regard the solving procedures as the online decoding phases. And uh, we develop fast algorithms for solving RPM based on an uh, optimal, precise embedding of cascaded concrete perfect codes in a similar work, uh, framework as that uh, Asia Crypt 2040, but with many optimizations. Uh, 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 we first, uh, it's the first time to show that uh, we can distinctly break the 18-bit security of the instances suggesting HB uh, plus, HB heaven, RPNC, and the LAPIN. Uh, this is our results with updated parameter choices. 
now we look at some preliminaries of this problem. Uh, we first look at the Bernoulli distribution. Uh, let uh, this symbol to denote the Bernoulli distribution, that is uh, if a random variable follows this uh, distribution, then we know that it's equals to one with probability eta, and it equals to zero with probability one minus eta. And the definition of inner product is the same as before, that is the uh, inner product between two uh, vectors, a row vector and a column vector. And uh, based on these two definitions, we have the definition for the RPM problem, an uh, RPM oracle, for an unknown random vector of qubit length with a noise uh, parameter eta in this interval returns independent samples of this form. Yeah, it's the noisy observation of the inner product. And the k eta RPM problem consists of a recovering x from the samples output by the oracle. Uh, it is uh, worth to noting that the problem can be rewritten in the matrix form as here. Yeah, here it's a uh, noisy observation of the uh, inner products, and uh, this is the secret that we want to recover, and this is the matrix uh, of consists of the columns, and uh, this is a noise variable for each uh, coordinates. It uh, have this relation, and the k times n matrix is formed as here. Uh, each uh, column is a transpose of the random uh, vector g, and uh, we can see from this form that it is close related to the problem of decoding random linear code. Uh, we uh, then look at the BKW algorithm. Uh, the BKW is proposed in the spirit of the generalized birthday algorithm. It works on the columns G as uh, follows. It uh, looks for pairs of columns that they are client on the last uh, B bits. And then we accordingly update the data samples. Uh, it is easy to see that. If we update the symbols as this, then the Fovdi noise variable has this dis distribution according to the panning up lemma. Uh, formally, the BKW algorithm works in two phases, the reduction and the solving phase. Mm, this is the framework of the BKW algorithm. Uh, we give the input of the matrix G and the received uh, noisy uh, inner products and the parameters we are ch chosen by the attacker. Then we put the receive vector as the first row in this matrix. We form the matrix G0. And then we do T steps of uh, reduction as, uh, as this. That is, we first uh, sort the matrix uh, last B bits according to the value of the last B bits. We sort it and we partition it. In each partition, then we form pairs of columns in each partition so that they, are they can cancel the last B bits. Yeah, we repeat this step for T, for T rounds, and uh, finally, we effectively reduce the dimension of the secret X to this one. Yeah, it K minus B times T. And uh, our aim is to find a uh, vector X that has uh, minimized th this product. This is a vector and this is a matrix. Uh, there are two approaches called F1 and F2 to fulfill the merging uh, procedures, sharing the same uh, sorting approach with different uh, merging strategies. It is easy to see that F1 works on pairs with a representative in each partition, which is discussed at last, while F2 works on any pairs. For each iteration in the reduction phase, the noise level is squared. It can be seen here. We are the superscript I being the iteration step. Assume that the noise remains independent at each step, we have this relation after the BKW reduction. Uh, according to the panning up lemma. Uh, this is a description of uh, F1 and F2. We can see that we partition the matrix according to the value of the its last B bits of each column. And uh, for F1, we just pick a representative in each partition, and uh, we form the pairs. Uh, for other non-representatives, uh, non we do this to ignoring the last B, uh, B entries of zero. Uh, for F2, uh, this part is the uh, same, but uh, except, uh, here, we, for each pair in this partition, we form a uh, XOR and ignore the last B entries of zero. Uh, now we look at the previous algorithm using current calls. Uh, this algorithm contains five main steps. The step one transforms the problem into a systematic form by Gauss elimination. It's a uh, line two here. We just 
uh, choose a random column permutation and perform Gaussian elimination on this uh, transformed matrix and resulting in this systematic matrix. And uh, step two performs several BQW steps here. This is step two. Yeah, this uh, they suggest to use F, F1 in their original form. And uh, we directly go to step four. It uses a current code to rearrange the samples here. We just uh, choose a, a linear code with the information of L bit, and uh, the code length is K2, and the group, uh, regroup the columns of the matrix by the last K2 bits according to their near, nearest uh, code words. Uh, this is the key point for their improvement. And uh, step three, they guess it's some partial secret. Here, they just get some low hamming weight secrets. And uh, finally, they use the fast wish hard match transform to find the best candidate. And uh, to do uh, perform some hypothesis testing, also it, it means the fast wish transform to f determine whether to repeat the algorithm. It is this part. And uh, this is the framework of the previous algorithm. And now we look at each step uh, respectively for the Gaussian elimination. It, it purpose is to change the positions of the secret vector bits without changing the associated noise level. Uh, from the matrix uh, representation, it is easy to derive here. From here, we can de derive this formula, where z hat begins with k zeros, and uh, g hat from as here. It is the systematic matrix from the special form of the first k components of g hat and the z hat. It is clear that we have this distribution for the uh, secret, so for the new secrets here. So that we need not to exhaustively search all the possibilities of uh, these uh, secret variables. We just uh, uh, to try the most uh, the high probability one we tried first. The cost of this step is dominated by the computation of this metric, the D times G, which was reduced to this complexity through some table lookups, where A is some fixed value chosen by the attacker. And uh, the clearing procedure, the BKW reduction, uh, from the, this starting point, we iteratively process T steps of BKW reduction on L0 and the resulting in a sequence of matrix Li as here. Each Li has uh, n minus k and the minus i times 2 to b columns when adopting the F1 type uh, that discuss about 2 to b samples at each step. One also needs to update the hat in the same fashion. And if we use m to denote this value, this procedure as a new form of RPN instance uh, with uh, the systematic uh, matrix and uh, Z prime begin with a K prime zeros. This is what, 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 what is done here. And uh, we look at the noise of, noise of vector E prime. The first K prime has the same probability distribution as before. And for this, they have a distribution, uh, have a bias here according to the panning up lemma. And the complexity of this clearing procedure is dominated by this they just uh, use some techniques to reduce to this level. Uh, with the correct uh, number of queries, this algorithm exceeds the security bound of uh, 80 bits. In order to, in order to obtain a, a complexity smaller than 2 to 80, the F F2 reduction step is actually adapted, uh, applied in their uh, calculation. Uh, the, now we look at the partial secret getting. We divide x prime into two parts, x1 prime, x2 prime. And accordingly, we divide the uh, matrix G prime to into two parts, where X1 prime is of uh, K1 bit length and X2 prime is of uh, K2 bit length, and the sum of which is uh, K prime. This step gets all the vectors uh, with uh, these constraints, that is, uh, low hamming weight vectors, and uh, the problem then comes to a new form here, yeah, because we get part of the secret. And the complexity of the step is determined by updating with this formula and reduce to this amount. 
And uh, the key step is uh, using a current code. They just select some uh, uh, K2 and L linear code C with the uh, current radius uh, DC to rewrite uh, each uh, column in the G2 prime as a uh, uh, code word, uh, add some noise, uh, add some noise variable. Uh, let the systematic generator matrix and its parity check matrix of C, B, F, and H respectively. Then the syndrome decoding techniques is applied to select the nearest code word. Okay. So complexity is caused in calculating syndromes in uh, cal cal calculating syndromes, and uh, the complexity was uh, recursively computed as here. Uh, we did not go to uh, details about its how it re uh, replied to reduce to this complexity. And uh, they finally have uh, this form of RPN instance. And uh, the bells, the probability that they computed as here, it has a conditional probability, not the normal probability. So from the theory of probability, this is uh, incorrect. And there are some problems in the analysis, which is explicit in our paper. And uh, the subspace hypothesis testing is uh, just a fast switch transform. And uh, this transform has to co uh, repeat this t number of times which for each guess of x1 prime using this transform. And uh, we sh uh, show in our public paper that the data, the data complexity is highly underestimated. They use, this, uh, they use this formula, but it is not correct. Then they update it as uh, this uh, quantity in their presentation at the conference uh, and adopt F2 reduction with this number of initial queries. And this is the complexity formula for their attack. Now we look at our improvements and analysis. Uh, we know that the ex explicit code construction for solving those LPN instances to support the claims uh, uh, tags are not provided. It is suspicious that whether there will be a good estimation of the bells while well, the assumption of having weight restriction, um, which is crucial for the exact estimate of the complexity. Uh, we know that current code is a set of code words in a space with the property that every element of the space is within a fixed distance to some code word. Well, in particular, perfect code is a current code of the minimum set. This is the definition of a perfect code. Uh, perfect just uniformly and uh, covering and partition the whole space. Uh, these are the, all the known types of uh, per binary perfect codes uh, to, uh, so far. This is the these are the two trivial ones and the Hemingway. Uh, Hamming code, a Gauli code, and a repetition code. Then we make some concatenation. We finite types of binary perfect, uh, binary perfect codes and given fixed parameters K2 and L. Uh, the problem is to ex explicitly find the configuration of some perfect codes that maximize the bells. To solve this problem, we divide the matrix into several chunks by rows partition and uh, cover each chunk by a, a certain perfect code. Uh, we did not go to details here, but uh, finally, we note that we, it is uh, reasonable to treat the error base in coming from different perfect codes as independent variables, where the error components in the same perfect code will have coordinates to, to each other. Then we present the correct uh, method to compute the uh, probability of, this, uh, of the bells. This is our formula, and uh, it's given in our paper. Uh, we give the accurate estimation without any assumption on the Hamming weight. And then we turn to the task to search for such uh, optimal cascaded perfect codes that will maximize the final bells given a fixed uh, uh, K2 error prior according to the instance. And we just uh, number the, the number of codes uh, with uh, different variables, and uh, we transform it into an integer linear programming problem. These are the details. We did not go into it. And uh, these are the uh, linear integer programming. These are the constraints on the uh, word, uh, on the code word lens, and these are the constraints on the information bit lens. These are the target function to maximize the bells. And uh, we solve it, use some measurement, uh, some measurement software, Maple, and these are our results presented in our paper. We found that the optimal cascade perfect code usually selects the uh, 23, 12 or Gauli code, and the repetition codes with R at most, uh, at most four. And uh, we also give a theoretical analysis of the exact uh, data complexity. We found that this bound is a must to satisfy bound. And uh, but from experiments, this bound only provides a succeedability of a seven about 70. To assure a succeedability close to one, it's better to, to double it. 
Then the previous algorithm at H equal to 2014 is not so valid to break the 18-bit security according to this formula. And the variance of the BKW algorithm, we keep the RF1 and RF2. Instead, we prefer the RFK. That is for we our aim is to find sufficient k tuples from the previous matrix that add to zero in the last b bits. And for each such k table, we can calculate the sum of the k table and the disjoint into GI after discarding it at the last b bits. We still impose the restriction on this to for the complexity uh, cut down, and uh, use the generalized birthday problem to find the desirable number of k tuples. And uh, this is a complete description of algorithm. Uh, the difference comes from here with uh, F4, and uh, here we run uh, the to find the optimal cascaded perfect codes that be embedded into the uh, into the uh, in the vectors of the matrix. Uh, here is the same as before, and uh, the new algorithm has a similar structure framework as that, uh, but with the previous embedding cascade concurrent perfect codes at step four, and uh, we optimize each step with various time memory trade-off techniques. Uh, we include an additional step to select the favorable queries with the complexity of this, this amount. And uh, we have derived different uh, theoretical formulas for different kinds of BKW reduction steps. And uh, the whole set of attack parameters according to F1, F2, and F4 can be provided. Recently, there's a paper on ePrint uh, to question the choice of our attack parameters. And after discussion with the authors, we will write a new uh, report to explain how we choose the attack parameters on this uh, problem. And uh, if we know, we know that if we, uh, we all results strictly for thi this bound, if we choose the half bound, then the complexity can be reduced further, which is uh, two to five times lower than before. Concurrent attacks on this four critical system break the 18-bit security bound with some suggested parameter choices. Then we look at our conclusions. We propose the fast algorithm for solving RPM based on uh, optimal uh, precise embedding of classic concurrent perfect codes. And uh, the framework is similar to that at Azure Crypt 2014, but with many time memory trade off optimizations. Uh, we introduced some new variants of the BKW algorithm using two poles of collision and the technique to reduce the requirements of the queries. Our approach is generic and is practical to provide concurrent security evaluation of the RPN instance. Future work is to study how to cut down the limitation of candidates and employ other types of good codes, for example, nearly perfect codes. Thank you. All right, we have time for some questions. All right, then I have a question. Yeah. So if you pick a set of parameters now, how much money would you bet that in 20 years' time it still has the same level of security as it has now? Uh, sorry, how much? How much more progress in solving LPN ex do you expect over the next, say, 20 years? Because it seems like the advances, they're getting smaller and smaller, right? So we are in the ballpark of 2080. Do you think there will be big leaps forward, or do you think we are close to actually calling, well, we have some idea of how hard it is to solve LPN? Uh, yes, I think uh, for solving RPN, it is still uh, not an easy task. Uh, it is still very hard to solve it. But uh, we know that uh, from the information theory bound, uh, the data content is, on to, is only 2 to 11 or 2 to 12. But now we have a data content of 2 to 16 or 2 to 17. So there is a large gap between them. So this suggests some improvement space for future work. I see. Yeah. OK, thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? Well, then, let's thank both speakers of the session again. Yeah, thanks.